हेलो डेयर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे वर्किंग एज द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस ऑनलाइन ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टार्टेड द यूनिट फर्स्ट ऑफ द पेपर फर्स्ट नेम्ड एज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर्किटेक्चर एंड प्रोग्रामिंग इन दैट वीडियो वी वेर सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर एंड माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट्सेट्रा द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द इंटेल एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इन नाइनटीन एटी वन इंटेल कॉर्पोरेशन यू एस ए इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एन एट बीट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर कॉल्ड द एट जीरो फाइव वन फैमिली इंटेल रेफर्स टू इट एज एम सी एस फिफ्टी वन द अदर मेम्बर्स ऑफ दिस फैमिली आर मेनली एट जीरो थ्री वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड एट जीरो फाइव टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर द फीचर्स ऑफ एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर आर एज फॉलोज द एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर इज एन एट बीट माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट इज इट हैज एट बीट सी पी यू सी पी यू मीन्स द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट आई होप यू ऑल नो दैट वट इज मीन बाय बीट ए सिंगल बाइनरी डिजिट इज कॉल्ड एज ए बीट दैट मीन्स इन बाइनरी जीरो और वन इज कॉल्ड एज ए बीट a group of 8 bits is called as a byte a group of 8 bit is called as byte that means this is a one byte also we know that a group of 1024 byte is equal to 1 kilo byte i hope you all understand what is mean by bit and what is byte next next feature of 8051 microcontroller the 8051 microcontroller has 8 bit data bus and 16 bit address bus next the 8051 microcontroller has 4 kilobytes of on chip memory it is also called as rom we know that what is mean by rom rom stands for read only memory in that memory we can only read data we cannot write data into it next the 8051 microcontroller has 128 bytes of on chip ram ram stands for random access memory that means the type of memory in which we can read or write data the 8051 microcontroller has four input output ports each port is of 8 bit that means it contains total 32 bidirectional io lines next the 8051 microcontroller has two 16 bit timer counters name as timer 0 and timer 1 In 8051 microcontroller, there are total five interrupts. The two interrupts are external, named as INT zero and INT one, and three interrupts are internal, TF zero, TF one, and RITI. RI means receive interrupt and 
TI means transmit interrupt. I hope you know what is interrupt. Let's see. The interrupts are the events that temporarily stops the main program, passes the control to the external sources and execute their task. After the completion of this task, then it passes the control to the main program where it had left off. Next feature of 80 fiber microcontroller is that it has on chip clock oscillator. And the last one is it has one serial port which provides full duplex UART mode. The serial port is used for the communication purpose. In microcontroller, the serial communication is used. Here, the word full duplex means the data can be transmit and received at the same time. The serial communication is divided into three types. First, simplex. First one is simplex mode. In that mode, the transmitter can be only transmit the data. That is, this is one-way type communication. For example, TV broadcasting. Next, second type is half duplex mode. In this mode, in this mode, data either transmitted or received. That means data can be transmitted and received in both direction but not at the same time means if we transmit the data then at the same time we cannot receive the data then the third type is full duplex mode full duplex mode in that mode data can be data can be transmitted and received at the same time okay i hope you understand what is mean by full duplex and u art means universal or synchronous receiver transmitter mode next let's see the block diagram of 8051 microcontroller in 8051 microcontroller, this is the basic block diagram. It consists of a CPU. We know that CPU means the central processing unit. It contains ALU, arithmetic and logic unit, and some register array. <coughs> it is connected to the oscillator circuit, which is Inbuilt in the microcontroller, this oscillator circuit provides the clock to the CPU. The 8051 microcontroller has the interrupt control block. Already seen previously that it has two external interrupts INT0 and INT1 and three internal interrupts TF0, TF1, RI, TI. The controller has 4 kilobytes of ROM, 128 bytes of RAM, the bus control part, and two timer counter sections, timer 1 and timer 0. The 8051 microcontroller has four ports, named as port P0, port P1, port P2, and port 
P3. Each of the port consists of 8 bit. The controller block diagram has one serial port which is used for serial communication. The data can be transmitted through, through this T cross D line and data can be received through this R cross D line. The block diagram of 8051 microcontroller architecture is shown here. In this diagram, we can see here that here is arithmetic and logic unit. Here is register A. It is also called as accumulator. Register B. PSW means program status word register. PC means program counter and DPTR data pointer register. These two registers are 16 bit. Next, these are the four ports port 0, port 1, port 2, port 3, which is connected by a latch. It has 4 kilobytes of ROM and 120 by 8 bytes of RAM. Here are some general purpose, spe, sorry, some special function registers IE, IP, PCON, SBUF, SCON, TCON, TMODE, TL0, TH0, TL1, TH1. Here IE means interrupt enable, IP means interrupt priority, SBUF means serial buffer, SCON means serial control, TCON means timer control, T mode means timer mode control, TL0 means timer 0 low byte, TH0 means timer 0 high byte, TL1 means timer 1 low byte, TH1 means timer high. Timer 1 high byte. Here is the internal RAM structure of 8051 microcontroller. Next, here is system timing, system interrupt timers, data buffers, and memory controls. These pins are used in this block. Next, the basic architecture of 8051 microcontroller can be divided into seven parts first in processing unit second register set third memory units fourth input output ports and serial port fifth interrupt structures sixth timing and control unit seventh timers now the 8051 microcontroller architecture consist of following specific features that is it has 8 bit cpu with register a the register a is also called as an accumulator and register b in 8051 microcontroller there are two 16 bit registers named as pc program counter and data pointer DPTR register. Next, the architecture consists of 8 bit program status word PSW register. Next, it has 8 bit stack pointer register. The architecture shows the internal ROM of 4 kilobytes internal RAM of 128 bytes. This RAM is divided into three parts such as 32 bytes in four register banks. Register banks named as R0, R1, R2 and R3 each containing eight registers. That means 4 into 8 is equal to 32 bytes. Next, 16 bytes are for 
bit addressable and next 80 bytes next 80 bytes are general purpose data memory the total 128 bytes of ram next the 8051 controller has four 8 bit ports port p0 p1 p2 and p3 which contains 32 input output pins the controller architecture has two 16 bit timer counters t0 and t1 it has full duplex serial data transmitter receiver the architecture has various special function registers in short sfrs such as ie ip picon sbuf scon ticon tmode tl0 th0 tl1 and th1 there are two external and three internal interrupt sources the two external interrupt sources are int0 and int1 next the architecture has oscillator and clock circuit thank you students